In this video, I will discuss about the noradrenaline dose and how to prepare the infusion uh, for the shock patient. Basically, it is a norepinephrine, also called as the noradrenaline. It comes in 4 mg vials. What is it? It is basically an excitatory neurotransmitter secreted endogenously. Exogenously, we are using it as a drug. Main mechanism of action is vasoconstrictor, mainly acts on the alpha 1 receptor, which is an agonist. It has a very weak action on beta 1 receptors also, but most of the action during shock comes from the alpha 1 receptor agonism. At a low dose only, it has beta effects. Most of the time, in clinical situation, we use a dose higher than 3 microgram per minute. So that's why alpha receptor mediated vasoconstriction predominates and that's how it's a vasopressor. Few theoretical points. It happens the steady state plasma concentration in 5 minutes. Free of is about 2 minutes. Volume of distribution is 8.8 liters. Coming to the dosage. The vial comes in 2 ml dosage. Each ml contains noradrenaline by tartrate, which is 2 mg. 1 ml contains 2 mg, so the vial is available in 2 ml, so the total dose is 4 mg. So our dosage regimen is based on this one, nor, not this one. So one ampule contains 2 ml, each ml contains 2 mg. So, total is 2 ml, 4 mg or 4000 microgram. The starting dose of noradrenaline is approximately you can remember as 10 microgram per minute or we have to start at a dose of 600 microgram per hour. How to make the infusion set? In most of the ICSO infusion set will be available where 50 ml syringe we used to make the infusion set. And for infusion we can use nor normal saline or dextrose solution also as mentioned over here. 2 ampule in 50 ml NS. Suppose if we take 2 ampule, each ampule contains 4 mg. So total is about 8 mg. 8 mg is equal to 8000 microgram of noradrenaline so 50 ml of that infusion set contains about 8000 microgram of noradrenaline so 1 ml bring this 50 this side approximately 1 ml is 160 microgram 2 ml is 320 microgram since our starting dose as I told 10 microgram per hour which is 600 micro sorry 10 milligram per minute which is 600 microgram per hour if we start at 2 ml per hour in the infusion set this will deliver around 320 microgram per hour so we can titrate it to 3 ml and 4 ml to reach the required dose in most of the situation with the 2 ml only the patient response might be occurring since the starting dose i have mentioned is 10 microgram per minute for noradrenaline also per kg dose is there which is 0.05 microgram per kg per minute but for most of the patient this is the dose at which the before this only the response can occur what is the maximum dose if the patient respond blood pressure didn't rise or the expected response didn't come this can be gradually titrated one ml one ml per hour till that time patient responds in no textbooks maximum cutoff is given in few textbooks they have mentioned 40 microgram per minute this is the dose before which most of the patient develop the response. So in the infusion set, the instruction of put 2 ampule of noradrenaline in 50 ml of NS and start at 2 ml per hour. 
to be exact we have to start at 4 ml per hour to deliver the required dose of 600 microgram per hour the patient BP will show the response suppose if the infusion set is not there if we are in a medicine ward where we have to start using the normal saline bottle then the calculation goes like this since 2 ampule contains 8000 microgram of noradrenaline we will be putting this in 500 ml in this bottle so 1 ml contain 16 microgram 1 ml contains 16 microgram since the starting dose is 10 microgram per minute on an approximate we can start around 1 ml per minute if we start at 1 ml per minute we will be delivering around 160 microgram per minute we can get a, keep a little bit lower also suppose if the micro drip set is not there you can visit the ns bottle with the normal uh, drip set we can use 6 micro drops which is 1 ml if we keep per minute we will be delivering 160 microgram of noradrenaline per minute if we have to start at a lower dose we can start at around 4 macro drops per minute to give a required dose of approximately 8 to 10 microgram per minute so this is the calculation for starting the infusion using normal saline bottle suppose if the patient is in volume overload then what to do just you can increase the ampule number of ampules so that the number of drops you will be delivering to the patient will be reduced for example instead of two ampule if you put four ampule the required dose will be delivered at three micro drops per minute so this calculation i hope you will do it on your own so this is how nor adrenaline drips infusion sets are being prepared and the one important adverse event is since it is a potential vasoconstrictor better to give this noradrenaline in the big central veins or in good calipered peripheral veins if we use a very small vein that it might cause uh, local tissue necrosis after the extra vestation of the drug into the subcutaneous space this is one important